Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Football Manager 2013. Uh, this episode we take on Newcastle. We're playing this match at St James's Park, their home stadium. Uh, the starting lineup for today is Pedder checking goal. Um, Defence-wise, I've gone with Azpilicueta, Gary Cahill. Decided to give Bruma a chance, as well as Jokin stays instead of Ivanovic. Uh, Centre and midfield, we've got Andre Ayew and Soko. The three attacking midfielders, we've got the three amigos, Hazard, Matter and Oscar. And decided to go ahead with Rondon as the lone striker up front. He's had a good bit of form lately, so hope he can continue that. Um, on the bench, we've got Mucker, Ivanovic, Ashley Cole, Chalba, Kakuta, Demba Bar and Loriente. So I think good attacking options as well as good defensive options should uh, we get a good lead. And then Newcastle really start putting us under pressure. But if we can get a good reaction, Cahill and Jockin Sayers look happy. Soko, Oscar and Mata look happy. Can we get a reaction out of Rondon? No, we can't. But not a bad team talk. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can get a win against Newcastle. Um, the last match we had against Newcastle ended in a 0-0 draw. But otherwise than that, matches we've had against Newcastle before the last match um, have been quite high scoring games. Three goals. So a team has scored three goals a number of times in their matches. But uh, we've got Andre Ayew here. He's found Azpilicueta, edge of the box. Try to get in there, but Andre Ayew's battling for it. Kept in this hazard. Crosses. Oh, Rondon was there. Worst thing is, it was a poor header. <laughs> he could have scored from that. Now the fact that the season is getting so close um, in terms of... Well, the end of the season is getting so close. Uh, not very many matches left. And we're eight points behind Manchester City, who are currently first. So, ideally, we need to win as many matches as we can. But Oscar's lost possession and Diarra has collected it. Andre, a good interception on that pass. And it's fell to Bruma, Cahill. Asbukwaya tries to cross the matter and Bath intercepts. But Andre is battling for it. And Sissoko's got it. Oh, God. Good save by Czech. Not quite sure what happened there. That was a bad lapse in uh, concentration from the defence. Don't want to go one nil down. Bruma seems nervous. I think Bruma's good, but I feel he just needs one season at a top team, first team football, and then he'll be a regular. But we'll have a look at the Matt stats. Uh, eight opportunities so far. <laughs> Player eight and wise are both equal on six point eight three. Is anyone playing bad for us right now? I don't think no one's playing particularly bad, but... Let's do passionate. Right, Asper Quata looks happy. Jock and Stacey motivated. Cahill look happy. Oscar looks happy as well. No response from Rondon. See, I would settle for a 1-0 win because it's a win at the end of the day and it's a clean sheet as well. But a, a strong performance is what I'm really after this match. Get a good run of form going. If we can have a good performance here. Come up to 60th minute. Right, I think we'll, uh, we'll make a change. Get Rondon off and get... Loriente on and we'll go Ivanovic for Cahill I'm thinking about going into uh, like overload I think it's called where you all out attack but we'll probably wait 10 minutes well till there's 10 minutes left of this match and then go to that but I'm hoping we can get a goal before then it's coming up close right Overload. This is a Soko. Van Jokin says. Matter. Oscar, go on, Oscar. There's people there. Andre Ayu, yes, with a goal. Fantastic. In that case, we will stay on attacking. Awesome. It took a, quite a while to uh, get the goal, but the main thing is that we got one. Good assist by Oscar. It looked like it was going Loriente, but straight to AU. Awesome. 
beautiful finish. 1 0, come on. This is Gamero. Still Gamero. Antis! Oh, it's blocked! Right, okay, we're gonna go control instead, I think. What? Gamero's. They was given a penalty! Oh, in that case, we'll go overload. God damn it, I didn't even know they were given a penalty. Sugar. God damn. Come on, let's grab one more. Three minutes of extra time. A's been booked for persistent fouling, but we've got Ivanovic to Bruma. Sissoko, Andre Ayu's matter. Loriente back to Ayu. Come on. Hazard. Loriente! Ah, keeper somehow got a, set, a hand to that, I think. This is Ayu. we still got possession. Colaccini headers in his fell back to Ayu. Sissoko. Matter in the set by Colaccini again, but Ayu's got it back to Sissoko. Jockin says. Oscar in the box. Still Oscar. Yes! Go on, Matter with the finish. Oh, okay. Control. The amount of times I've changed like the mentality for this match. We finally got that Oscar with the assist. Do want to avoid that tackle? I thought it caught him, but Mata just got in front of Bath. Very nice finish. Oh crikey! Matches against Newcastle are always <laughs> a roller coaster. I think they're making some tactical changes. Come, we can't give away this lead, and we haven't. We've got the win. Oh crikey! Right, uh, the match stats, we had 16 opportunities, 8 on target, uh, we had 2 clear cut chances, Newcastle had 3, so we're fortunate to only concede 1 against them. Uh, pass, uh, possession was 54%, pass completion 81%, tackles won 77%, and headers won 75%, uh, 1 yellow card, no red cards, the average rating for a player for them was 7.05, and the average rating for a player for us was 7.32. Uh, best player for them today, Anita, 8.4, quite good stats as well, but also uh, Danny Bath had a good game, 8.2, not a bad defender either, uh, man of match though, Andre Ayu at 8.4 and got a goal, Oscar got 8.1 and I think he got two assists as well. We'll have a look. Yeah, Oscar got two assists in this match. Andre you got a goal and Matt got a goal. So, yeah, very happy with that. Would have been nice to have <laughs> it, for it to have been an easier win, but we got a win, which I'm very happy with. Hopefully we can get a good response from the team. Uh, four players look delighted. Jockin says Cahill, Asbel, Quater and Oscar. I don't know if there was any other Premiership matches played. Uh, European results though, Man City 2-0 win against Leverkusen in their first leg. Torre and Nazri scored for them and Bayern Munich drew 2 all with Paris Saint-Germain. Ibrahimovic scored twice for Paris Saint-Germain. Robin and Gomez scored for Bayern Munich. Robin out injured for three weeks, well he won't be injured when he comes here so that'll be alright. Right, let's do this press conference. Oh, not aggressive. See, I like Alex Ferguson, that's why I'm going to say they should keep him. Um, Gary Cahill, 100th league appearance for Chelsea. Not too bad. Right, let's have a look at the next match. Our next match is against Birmingham, away. <laughs> uh, we've got a four day rest till then, and then we travel nowhere at home to Metalist then after that. But as you can see, 
huge game coming up soon against Manchester City, a match that could, in theory, take us out of the Premier League hunt or put us firmly straight into the top of the league. Uh, league table, though. Arsenal in fourth with uh, 53 points. We're in third with 57 points, but we have a game in hand over Arsenal. So if Arsenal win their game in hand, it will be a one-point lead over them. Tottenham, we're one point behind, but they have two games in hand, so hopefully... No, one game in hand. No, two games in hand. <laughs> they got two games in hand. Hopefully they'll uh, lose both of them, but I don't think they will. Uh, Man City's still in first, though. Six points ahead of Tottenham. If Tottenham win both of their games, they will go into... No, they've got one game in hand over Man City. So, yeah, if Tottenham win their game in hand, they'll go one point behind Man City. So, it's definitely getting closer... We've got 10 games left. That's all for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series. Uh, also, subscribe if you possibly could be kind enough. That would be awesome. But most importantly, have a great day, guys. Thank you for watching.